August 14th here in Missouri, and we're getting our bows tuned in, getting ready for season. We're going to start hunting in Kentucky come September 1st, so season comes just a hair early. But we're more than excited. We're ready, trying to just get our bows lined out, and hopefully we'll we'll have some more hunts coming your way. Christian, we're going to be trying to show him how to bow hunt a little bit this year. He got him a crossbow, but he's going to hunt with that this year until he gets good with the compound because, you know, it's more important we don't want to injure deer, you know, if you're not comfortable with, you know, taking a compound. And I'm kind of proud of him. I hope I hope he takes one with his uh, crossbow this year, but I'm, I'm definitely going to make money for using the crossbow. But we're going to show him, you know, how to film, how to hunt, try to, you know, pass it down. That's just one of the main things is try to just keep on, you know, passing it down from generation to generation. Just finished shooting our bows. Thankfully, we didn't have to do too much tweaking. And man, we're ready for season. Summer's been long and it seems like we wouldn't get here, but we're just two or three weeks away and we're more than ready to get after them. Now we're just going to practice every now and then and ready to get in the stand. Uh, me and Cody's here in Kentucky. We're trying to, I actually, me and my dad came here Saturday and uh, we didn't have any batteries in the camera and it was dead. So I told Cody we needed to get over here and put some batteries in there before we couldn't get any more pictures of the deer because I'd like to keep them. We've had a pretty good pattern of them coming. I'd like to tell just a little bit about this property. It's a very small property, but I believe that we're going to have some success on it this year. The field that we're about to walk into is only about nine or 10 acres. And it's standing corn this year. They planted corn in it. And I believe that it's made a tremendous impact on the deer. I guess because they feel safe and it just really helps. Not just its benefits with the food, but it benefits because of their security way more. They're bedding up out in there and we're having almost almost 100% of our photos are daylight, which means that them deer and them bucks are showing up because they're pretty close by. And that normally does not happen. About every place me and Cody have ever hunted, it has always been nighttime, 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 and then the does would show up in the daytime. So we feel really blessed to even have the pictures that we've been having. But we just hope that we can keep having this success. We've had, I think we have at least five shooters. We have a ton of young bucks we can pass up and let go another year. So I'm hoping that we have a, a really good season this year and that uh, this corn really helps us and that we can use it to our advantage. Uh -huh. 